Hi, I'm Rudy Lowe. My pronouns are they, them. I'm a visual artist, currently exhibiting unattributable briefs, Act One, at Staffordshire Street Gallery in Peckham. The exhibition includes my practice-based PhD research, which uses records from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office now held at the National Archives as a starting point for a painting. And so these records in particular highlight Britain's role in suppressing black power organizing in the English speaking Caribbean during the late 1960s and early 1970s. So these paintings are part of the Trinidad series, highlighting key moments in the February Revolution in Trinidad and Tobago in 1970. So the first painting here is called February 1970, Trinidad number one. And it looks at the carnival that happened in Trinidad in 1970. And we have here figures from carnival such as Moko Jumbi and Jab Jabs moving towards the then Trinidad and Tobago Prime Minister, Eric Williams. And in the background, there are these people who are kind of look like they're waiting for something to happen. Um, there are these children running and copies of this black radical newspaper, um, Moko, which was being printed in Trinidad at the time. Um, and Carnival has always been a um, kind of mode of resistance. And so it felt really important as well for that to be represented in this history. Um, and that there are the, the copies of Moko um, have been held in the National Archives as part of the Information Research Department's research. Um, so they would collect these uh, radical newspapers and ephemera and then use that as a way to kind of write their um, unattributable propaganda. And then the second painting here is called March to Caroni. Um, it's the second in the Trinidad series. And um, it shows black Trinidadians marching from the port of Spain to Caroni in support of Asian Trinidadian sugar workers. And so um, I think this is really interesting because it shows also that kind of within this black power movement, there was a you know perspective towards solidarity across different identities. And this was something that both the um, Afro-Trinidadian politicians such as Eric Williams and the Asian Trinidadian politicians were trying to stop, as well as the British government who were monitoring this uh, situation very closely. And the frames are also part of these works. So the frames are inspired by the kinds of um, shopping carts that I've seen in the Caribbean that are brightly coloured and usually have hand painted lettering. And so um, in the, you can't see it, but these frames have um, hand painted lettering along the sides. And that's also kind of a way to bring in different voices into the work as well.